I was thinking of Roblox game, then I thought of old classic games that are still relevant today, which made me make this video. And I wanted to see where it began and how successful it is today. The first game we're gonna talk about is Natural Disaster Survival. Stickmaster will create his account December 22, 2007. He is known for making Natural Disaster Survival and the Underground War. Stickmaster Luke will create Natural Disaster Survival on 28th of March, 2008. There are 22 maps in Natural Disaster Survival, some of them created by Stickmaster Luke, others created by players. But at launch it had 6 disasters and 8 maps. The amazing thing about Natural Disaster Survival is that it only had a couple of major updates and that's it and somehow it's still alive. Shortly after release, two new maps, Arch Park and Raving Raceway were added, however no new updates came out for like years. These are going to be the 2014 updates on Natural Disaster Survival. Five new disasters. Earthquake, Volcano, Sandstorm, Snowstorm, Acid Rain. Also a new item was added that gave you health when you eat it. By the looks of it, it's not doing so bad. It's averaging around 5k. I mean, to be honest, I really don't have much to say. I mean, there's still people playing it, obviously. It's still fun. Murder and Mystery 2 would be released on the 18th of January 2014, but as Murder and Mystery 1. Murder and Mystery 1 will go into a beta for about a year, then in an Bing. update, Murder and Mystery 1 will turn into Murder and Mystery 2. In Murder and Mystery, you either have to roll as innocent shell for murder. If you are innocent, you would hope that the chef is going to kill the murder. If it doesn't happen, you could get the gun to kill the murder. If you're the murder, you have to try to kill everyone and hope you don't die for chef. For sheriff, you have to protect everyone and find out who's murder and shoot them. If you were just gonna chill, then you could collect coins, which then would allow you to open up crates, so then you could get skins for nice organs. Box is actually pretty expensive. It's been a while since Murder Mystery is updated like this, so, uh, pff, very lovely. Sorry, but something I forgot to say is that Nicholas would make his account on December 25th, 2008. Murder Mystery 2 would have updates mostly around the holidays, an example is Christmas. For the 2023 Christmas update, and Nicholas would allow you to get Christmas themed yes, coins instead of regular coins. Ew! Ew! Dude! What the f You were able to use these coins to buy stuff like loot boxes, battle pass levels, skins, and more. They would do the same thing with other holidays. Murder Mystery 2 gets at least 100,000 concurrent players with basically 100,000 people playing it at the same time. Murder Mystery 2 also has 40 billion visits, which is just a lot. Ah. I mean, by the looks of it, you could tell that Murder Mystery is doing very good today, even though it's a pretty classic game. I think Murder Mystery 2 is a very good game for its age.